thank you very much for your presence and your attendance and uh, you are welcome not ordinarily a resident of Migori. If you are a resident of Migori, I'm sure we are together in welcoming. Uh, today we are also to thank our staff, to thank the leadership with whom we are working closely, and to thank the general public Our partners who are in CDC, our partners who are in CHEB, our partners from the national government, our partners from PEFA and uh, all persons of goodwill who have worked together with us in this journey, good journey, and it continues being a good journey. And when I talk about our partners, I should of this government and the county assembly is an important arm and a very important uh, part of the county government without which uh, the programs we implement would not see the light of day. The effort that we put as a county to have been identified as a place to offer regional laboratory services to be surrounding us is an achievement that has not been easy to make but it's an achievement that we are happy to celebrate today you had the national department responsible for this they look at they looked at other neighboring counties and found Migori uh, suitable uh, for this program because led by your sincerely Ochilo Ayako had met them beyond 50 percent so let's clap for ourselves I want to thank the board of management of this facility uh, Bishop Kandia, thank you very much for your leadership at the board. The staff responsible for the day-to-day -day running of this activity and the department and meeting the approval and expectation of donors and also the approval and expectation of our partners at the national and that good job, you must and you should continue doing it. I must equally appreciate our fund, our health fund leadership. Uh, Mama Mary is uh, here and her team. We normally, we make sure that uh, the funds that are collected are returned to the facilities so that the facilities are run for our people. Issues relating to disease do not give you notice. Issues relating to el uh, ailment do not even tell you how many people, how many afflictions accompany them. That you may think when you are examined, that is when you get to know the complexity. I am happy to report that Migori County, and specifically Migori County Referral Hostel, is day by day inching towards an institution that will solve our complex health problems. We are moving by the day, and we are moving by the week, we are moving by the month, 
and by the year, and at this pace, I want to promise our people and the Kenyans that we'll be able to be at the top of providing affordable, quality, and efficient health services to our people who reside here or those whose, ac whose uh, activities uh, whose, activi whose activities uh, make it obligatory for them to be here. Because health services and uh, uh, health challenges can get you anywhere. Even some of us, we get challenges when we're in other counties and we have to be rushed to or we rush to the facilities that are available. So I want to assure uh, those stakeholders in Kenya, specifically those in Migori and others, that we are improving our services and our services will meet the standard that the services uh, ought to meet uh, so that our people uh, should not uh, suffer more for things that we would have prevented. Uh, we know that life is not permanent, but even if it is not per permanent, we must make sure that for that period that God has gifted us breath in our bodies, that period must be a good period if we are able uh, to prevent it or to make it or to palliate it and make it uh, less of a suffering to the individuals who look up to us to provide those services. Oh, health or provision of health services is a responsibility we take seriously. We have more than 157 public facilities in Migori and it has been our resolution Is a in running order. This specific facility, the referral facility where we are, uh, if you look at it, you can see it keeps on changing for the better daily. Uh, today, the facility that we have launched that has been equipped with the assistance of our partners, the equipment, I'm informed and I believe it is more than 200 million in value. That facility, you can see, is a clean facility. It's a facility that uh, you and all of us can be comfortable being treated here. I want to tell you, biological father, and Mimi Naye, we don't need a DNA. We don't need that DNA testing. He is uh, one of the people who gets treated here, and he has very favorable accolade for the staff here and the services he gets here. He used to be treated in Kisumu, in Nairobi, and I used to be charged a lot of money, but uh, lately uh, he comes here, uh, he feels well, and he's a happy man. So uh, my father and my family, uh, I am sure, don't just treat that guy because he's my father. Treat everybody else because these are the stakeholders that you have the privilege to serve. My father is appreciative of and uh, members, even outside Migori, who visit with us and may visit this facility. On our part as an administration, uh, we uh, want to assure the staff. I know the staff are looking for or additional pay. Uh, we want to assure you that we are working on that in the next budget we should get you something amidst this difficulty that is afflicting or affecting all of us in the nation. We will get for you something. I know that we are understaffed as uh, the health department in the implementation of this budget. We will uh, get more staff and I want to uh, announce with excitement that uh, CHEB is uh, already programming assistance uh, to Migori County to add us additional staff. When I checked uh, the document of request, it was 29 in a number. Uh, CHEB, we want to thank you for the 29, but we also want to report that as we thank you, uh, we still need more and we welcome and embrace any additional support that you will give to our people. Uh, the molecular testing equipment that is being launched here is a versatile equipment that is capable of giving us results within the shortest time possible, giving our neighbors result within the shortest time possible 
but more importantly, uh, accurate result and at a very affordable cost. It pains a sick person to travel. You don't know what you are suffering from. You travel, spend a lot of money to a place so far from where you normally reside, you wait a few more days to come back. So these services are very important. Uh, when I was officially being taken through them, uh, there is uh, uh, after sale or after installation service readily available. So I can assure the public that the facilities will run continuously. We have backup power. Now with that backup power, whenever and wherever you may need your results, you will uh, get it. Uh, provision of medical uh, services requires that uh, you have an accurate and a prompt uh, diagnosis of what doctors, uh, health uh, professionals are wonderful people. But if they are not enabled by being given uh, facilities that are met with accuracy what is afflicting or hurting or injuring you, then it acquire trial and error. At this age and time, we do not want to have a trial and error. Yangu kutoka got kachola alisema about some girls uh, trying to find out the paternity. Uh, don't worry about that one. You should be happy you have many people seeking or trying to love you and say that wewe ni daddy. Kama pesa ndiyo shida kidogo, wacha tuonge nyuma ya tent. Some of us uh, wish that we would have many people looking for us and claiming that uh, they are part of our family. We would be very happy. I know Bishop Kandie will say that that is a sin, <laughs> but I'm sure His Excellency Jesus came for sinners. And uh, when it comes to the birth of a child, what is most important is this equipment. This equipment should be able to tell you that the child is healthy, and if the child is not healthy, then this equipment and the technical and professional people using that information will be able to tell all of us how to handle the potential challenges that child may have in his or her life. Because life is everything. Without life, a healthy life, then you will be the beacon of suffering within your small family unit. You may be the village sufferer or the county sufferer, and we do not want to be a county of people who are suffering. We want to be a county of people who are healthy and productive in their day-to-day -day activity. I also want, and I've been told here, that uh, this equipment that we are launching today is actually able to give you DNA, except that is not our objective. We are not a county of acrimony. We atutaki kila mama aji hapa na mtoto na kila baba aji hapa. We are a county of uh, treating people. If you want DNA for purposes of uh, dispute yaki family, uh, certificates are issued by a national institution. Here, we will give you the DNA, but that should not be the motivator. We want you to look at issues relating to HIV, issues relating to diagnostic uh, issues that are complex. And I'm informed reliably that this equipment can do other 29 tests that are very important for our health. And when it is done here, the people from Miuru, the people from Sori, the people from Timaru, the people from Gokeharaka, the people uh, from uh, uh, the, the people from Komosoko, or the people from North Kamagambo, or Awendo, Poya, the people from anywhere uh, in Migori County will be close enough uh, to uh, where the results should be. You actually don't need to come here physically as a person. You need to attend to one particular, or be attended in one particular 
postal, private or public, and then the result will be dispatched here. And uh, because nowadays it's possible uh, to relay that back digitally, it can be relayed back to the medical person who is attending to you, then you get the most accurate uh, treatment. Uh, unlike um, the past, when you had to travel in the past uh, to Eldoret or to Kisumu, and when you travel to Eldoret or Kisumu, Eldoret or Kisumu also have other people who have traveled to that place. You may start by queuing at 3 o'clock in the morning. By midday, you have not been attended to because of the sheer numbers of people who are looking for services in Eldoret. So this is transformative. This is a milestone. And this is something that will take us places. What I may want to say in conclusion is that uh, we are not yet there regarding services that require different diagnostics. We are yet to set up uh, MRI, uh, MRI uh, facilities here. We are yet to set up other diagnostic uh, facilities here. But this is an indicator that tunaelekea na lengo letu ni kuhakikisha wagonjwa wetu sorry ama wa Kenya watapata huduma hapa. Uh, for example, uh, cancer related matters we are equipping uh, our facility here and that facility has been we will be renovating our mortuary services because we know that uh, no so we'll make sure that is also upgraded we are building a surgical complex and getting more people so that here and many many more services i am positive that um, at the end of this year uh, migori uh, referral hostel will be reclassified and graded much higher than it is today uh, finally i want to challenge our staff in the medical sector hapa migori county wananchi kule bado wanalia kwamba madawa zinapotea bado wanalia juzi tulikuwa nyatike huko sorry kuna muda ingine tulikuwa nyatike upande wa makalda kanyarwanda and also got kachola specifically got kachola tulikuwa at a place called sota and we walk around and uh, you hear somebody from the public or somebody from uh, a member of the public saying that they do not get uh, medical supplies uh, when they are asking the governor that I want all of us uh, to get a response to it. Is it that uh, all of this medicine that uh, we are buying do not reach those places? Or what is, the, uh, what is the challenge? So I know that when we look at our budget, we buy some medicine. We may not be well resourced to buy all of them. But are we doing as badly as was claimed in some place that there was no aspirin? Can't we afford it? So my challenge is, the little medicine that we buy, tafadali, use it for the right course, and uh, the people responsible for uh, bringing the patients in and also out, uh, treat them as uh, patients and as customers, give them the right information, give them hope, give them encouragement, so that uh, they do not uh, think that uh, services, health services have collapsed. I know for a fact that health services in the current administration has improved tremendously. But that information is not out there. Uh, that service perhaps uh, is not being offered to the, standard, uh, and, uh, to the standard and appreciation of those who are meant to receive it. I also want to challenge the staff uh, in medical uh, sector about the little revenue that we collect. Uh, reports still come to us that revenue is being lost. Those revenues that are being lost are the kind of revenues that we would need to improve this facility. You want to work in an environment where your work is facilitated. You want to work in an environment where uh, the facility is of high standard and other supportive activities are financed. 
In order to do that, let us look after the little resources that we are able to collect uh, from our people who pay for our services. As we speak today, we are digitizing uh, our revenue collection system here, and very soon we will go absolutely cashless. Uh, I had a whisper from a small bird that there are still some saboteurs who do not appreciate that. Ukitaka kufanya kazi kwa mdamrefu in a place, the work environment is very key. Sisi ambayo tuko kwa vyeo vya juu, we will make sure the money returns to that facility so that wewe ambayo unafanya kazi hapo, mali unafanya kazi, patakuwa pazuri, kwa hivyo tunakuomba we partner, let that money be collected, be banked, and be returned to that facility for the improvement of that facility. And the boards that run these facilities don't just be a board that has no vision. Hata nyinyi mwanze kuchora, uh, Dr. Kandie, Bishop, Anza Kuchora, where do you think this facility should be in 10 years? How should it look like? And then start translating together with the management and staff of this great facility how to move step by step, day by day, week by week, month by month until we get there. Kwa hayo mengi na machache yale ni mesema na sijasema, I want to officially uh, declare that Migori has the capacity from today to carry out uh, molecular testing and officially launch the PCR slash DNA molecular testing equipment launch and that this facility will be available to all of us at an affordable fees and with quality services offered by our professional staff. Yes, yes, as it is a leo, kwa sababu wale wakusema, jana nilisikia kijana mwingine sijui, he needs treatment, I don't know whether uh, he should, uh, he has come here, some, some guy from West Kanyamkago, and another one from East Kanyamkago, who should be addressing Mr. Speaker, addressing a funeral, uh, saying that uh, what wa migori wakienda kupeana basari uko West Kanyamkago at yatawapiga. I look at one single guy saying at Atupiga, Ajui, serekali naongozu wa napindra. Oh, Adi atapiga nani, na atapiga watu wa migori kweli. Staki kumujibu, because whenever you find that guy, offer him some treatment, counseling on anger, counseling on stupidity, because you can be so stupid that you don't even know why people give you a microphone. Ilikuwa kwa matanga, kusema pole kwa wale wako na uzuni na kusaidia wale wamebaki sio kutisha watu na wewe awezi hata tisha uh, inzi because uh, hata inzi awezi tisha so some people are sick now that we have fixed this facility uh, speaker ukiwaona bring them i'm sure we have uh, uh, psychiatrists here who can attend to them we also have counselors who can attend to them na wewe speaker ni mtu ambayo who na political experience, you can tell them uh, that uh, people who rush in politics get nowhere. And I mean, I'm experience, they can see me. If come and injaki dogo to kutane nyuma attend, we can get something for them. So I will not respond to them, kosabu ni wadogo na ni wajinga. Sawa sawa. Basi mungu wa tubariki na hayo machache, na asante ni sana, tuchape kazi.